Hi and welcome to this uh, tutorial on Julia. Uh, this will probably be the first of a series of tutorials uh, presenting Julia, its advantages, uh, what you can do with it, and um, yeah, just general knowledge about Julia. I'm still pretty new about uh, with Julia, so um, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not uh, proficient in it. I come from a mathematical background and I have some experience with Python, um, mostly. Uh, some Swift as well, but very little. Um, okay, so let me present you what Julia is about. Uh, Julia is a language which is very close to Python uh, with respect to the syntax, and its goal is to be very close from C with respect to speed. Um, and uh, we have a couple benchmarks here, which I can show you. Uh, showing different operations in different languages. So you can see at the bottom C, Julia and other languages. Uh, Python is here and it's not doing great for many of those operations. You can see the operations here and um, and yeah, Julia is absolutely killing it. Uh, C is potentially doing better but Julia is very close behind and way more natural. Uh, the syntax is way more natural. Um, and you can also see that other languages have uh, good performances on some algorithms, but they're not very consistent, meaning that some other algorithms take well long, way longer to, to um, compile, um, especially since this is a logarithmic scale, so every tick is multiplied by 10. Uh, so there's a pretty substantial difference between this kind of level and this kind of level. Anyway, so going back to Julia, uh, this is the home page. Uh, they obviously show you very nice things you can do with Julia. Um, you have a couple of uh, paragraphs here explaining you um, um, different things about Julia. Um, you have about 25,000 um, million downloads for Julia and 5,000 uh, packages. Um, so it's definitely going um, gaining importance uh, but it's obviously not as uh, common not as mainstream as uh, as python for instance or other languages um, here you can see a couple nice animations and uh, visualizations about what julia can do uh, visualization it's general purpose so they're implementing a minesweeper game um, you can do a lot of data science with it. It's actually, we'll see that later, but it's actually implemented with data science in mind, as well as machine learning. Uh, you see this uh, cart thing, which is probably some uh, reinforcement learning. I would, we maybe, maybe we'll go to that um, in another tutorial. I'm not sure yet. Um, and uh, Lawrence attractor here. Uh, so you can do sci scientific computing as well, different differential equations is also something you can do and parallel computing which I am not as uh, uh, I don't know as much about it uh, but uh, I I would say that it's probably great it's definitely not my background uh, this is more computer science related uh, but but I'm from what I understand it's it's uh, improving speed and um, and yeah that's what Julia is about so here you have the documentation as well, uh, which you can find, uh, in which you can find pretty much anything you need. It's pretty well done. Uh, variables, you have uh, sections, and everything is very clear. Um, I go through it sometimes, but Stack Overflow obviously is uh, a very serious contender. Um, anyway, so we'll get on to download Julia. Um, so you see, you have a button here. If you're not too sure you want more details, you can go to the download section. Uh, I will link everything in the description below uh, so that you don't have to uh, worry about it. If you want to if you want to search it directly, it's julialang.org and this page is, is slash downloads. Um, now, depending on your operator system, you can choose uh, whichever line here. Uh, Windows here, Mac OS, li Linux. I personally run on Linux, uh, so I would choose this one, the 64 bytes. Uh, but feel free to pick the other ones if you're on um, on another operating system. Uh, once you click here, so I, I've obviously already downloaded Julia, but so you see it's 100 megabytes. It's going to take quite some time to to download. 
Uh, I'm gonna cancel that quickly because I already have Julia. Uh, once it's downloaded, you can uh, go to your downloads folder and simply extract it. This is a compressed folder, so uh, you just need to extract it. Or for Windows, uh, as you can see, it's an .exe file. So you just have to click on it and follow the instructions. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, once this is done, um, the next thing we're gonna we're gonna do is uh, going on Jupyter Notebook. So in order to run Jupyter Notebook, we have to open Terminal. So on Linux, that would be Control Alt T, um, and from there we're simply going to type Julia. Um, so you're gonna see this nice animation um, appearing. If it's the first time you you go there it might be a bit surprising. I come from from Python and they usually don't have this kind of thing. And in order to uh, use Julia uh, on on Jupyter Notebook, we're going to have to um, use the iJulia, so iJulia um, package. Uh, however, um, when I started Julia, it was in installed on my mesh on my computer, so I had to um, install it. The equivalent of pip. For, for Julia, which is the, the basically the package manager, is uh, PKG. PKG. So here we going to we going to use PKG. This is the way to import uh, using PKG. So now I, I can call PKG related uh, stuff, and it should work. Uh, some people can just type straight away PKG. Oops, sorry, PKG dot add i Julia. And for some people it would work. I know that for me it didn't work, so that's why I'm, I'm adding uh, the above line using PKG. So just typing that, it's gonna check whether you have iJulia. I have it already, I'm not sure. Oh, it's updating actually, oops. Um, so yeah, for me it's updating right now. If you don't have it already, it should uh, simply um, it should simply download iJulia. Um, so we're gonna wait a bit for, for that to finish and then you can uh, open Jupyter Notebook. Okay. Okay, I had some kind of error, but I don't know, we'll see if it works. Hopefully it works. Um, so let me just exit Julia. So Control Z to exit. And then we're gonna simply type uh, Jupyter Notebook. You need to make sure that um, it's added to path, especially if you're on Windows. Uh, make sure of these things. There are tons of tutorials on how to do that. Uh, but the ton is to add add it to path and enter. Then Jupyter Notebook is going to open in your in your um, uh, in your browser, and uh, yeah. Then you're going to you can go on new, and here you should have Julia. If you have other languages, they're going to appear here. Well, if you are, if you have other languages, you're going to already know what I'm talking about, but uh, they're gonna appear here. And uh, if you want to uh, run Julia, just click Julia here and oops, for some reason it opened another one. And there we go. Um, now if you want to check that everything is working fine, you can simply print something and we're gonna be original and type the usual hello word and control enter. It's gonna take a while because Julia takes a while to, to run the first time. That's absolutely normal. Um, it has some kind of um, uh, characteristic, which is um, that it compiles which what is called just in time. Um, and this is why the first run is, is uh, slow, but the other, run, the other runs should be faster. So if you type two plus one, you should get a result pretty quick and um, and yes, you have a. From now on, you should be quicker. It's just the the first uh, the first run, which is slower. Um, so that was it for today. I I don't. Uh, that was just a quick a quick tutorial. I'm probably going to go with uh, uh, with making more tutorials. Um, that was just for the installation and running with uh, with Jupyter Notebook. Uh, in case you're not familiar with that already, um, and we're going to go to the more serious stuff from the from the next videos. So just. Yeah, keep posted with that and keep posted, keep, stay posted for that, sorry. And uh, and uh, it should come very soon on, on, on the channel. So, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I don't know, if you like what I do, uh, I know I don't have many videos yet, but uh, 
if, if you like what I do, you can subscribe and, and like the comment, the, the content. That would be that would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time.